Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous and I do mean over the top beautiful summer evening, late spring evening here at Bugs in a Jar Farm where I am thrilled to say we have our first hip cameras, hallelujah. Let the party begin at Bugs in a Jar Farm, the hip camp is in business. And, uh, so I'm just now sitting here at dark getting around to uh, doing what I do every Friday and that's going through the broken record rant that I've been on every week for what 10 years now bringing you my ecological meltdown roundup rant where we head over to mongabay.com to see what's on the minds of Rhett and Butler and the boys and girls at Manga Bay. And I am thrilled to announce that uh, we have a review of a Netflix documentary called uh, Breaking Boundaries, The Science of a Planet. You might remember a couple of days ago, I brought you a Doomer reviews. And so now we're going to... Uh, now, no one is claiming the byline here. My guess is this was written by Red. It just says by mongabay.com. New Attenborough film sounds alarm on planetary boundaries, but offers hope. Yes, a newly released Netflix documentary. Breaking Boundaries features David Attenborough and Johan Rockström, one of the scientists who introduced the concept of planetary boundaries. Yes, planetary boundaries are Earth system processes essential for the planet's functioning but have an environmental limit to which they cannot tolerate changes. According to to experts, such as those interviewed in the film, if these limits are transgressed, the Earth can be pushed into a new dangerous state. Okay, while the film suggests that the planet requires urgent repair, it also offers a clear path forward. Wow, a clear path forward and a message of hope. Okay, so we are going to go on to the full story, which goes on for page after page. I kind of like the documentary going on page after page, and then you get down to the very bottom, which you just, we've just started. You say, Papa already heard a rant about this. You sound like you're repeating yourself. I want to go back on my couch. No, you're going to stay here till this is over. All right. So you get down to the very end of this long article, and we're going to hear about the clear path forward. Yes. This is Elena Bennett a professor at McGill University and an expert on the impact of fertilizers says in the film, quote, Oops, wait a minute, I'm not even at. I, I thought I was at. No, that was the wrong three. Uh, okay. No, now we're going to get down to that was about how the fertilizer boundary had been uh, passed already and now we're the fertilizer is going to kill us off. All right, let's get down to the message of hope and the clear path forward. Okay. While the film's underlying message is that we should be deeply concerned for the state of our planet, it also suggests a clear path forward. According to the film, which never one time mentions the word overpopulation, much less the word population, that was me adding a sense 
Manga Bay never points out in their article that the film never mentions the words overpopulation. Or I just thought I would throw that in there. Just kidding! <laughs> anyway, according to the film, one necessary action is reducing greenhouse gas emissions to a point at which we can re-enter the safe operating space of the climate change boundary. It also suggests making changes to how we farm and how we eat and provide better protection to critical ecosystems such as wetlands and oceans. Okay, we are going, for the rest of this rant, we're going to look at some recent examples of the clear path forward, but before we do, let's hear from Johan Rockström. This is the moment. This is our chance to make things right. This documentary comes out right at this point, where it's like this perfect action movie showing a major threat that can, if we turn things around, have a happy ending. Yes, all we have to do is turn a freight train going over a cliff turn a freight a freight train with no brakes heading over a cliff how many uh, mix how many metaphors can I mix there and of course no no planetary boundary movie would not, would be complete without a closing quote from the deluded old fart named David Attenborough quote now that Johan and his colleagues have turned on the headlights, we can clearly see the boundaries. Yes, like about three feet in front of our headlights going 90 miles an hour, or is it 267,000 miles an hour? We can see the path back to a safe space, to a more resilient future it is achievable. Yes, okay, and with that, we are going to look at the clear path as that uh, documentary was making the rounds on Netflix. Let's just see the clear path from the past week. And there's so many examples of the clear path. I've only I've only got time to share a few of these uh, examples of the clear path. Here's here's Facebook. All right, Facebook. Unregulated by U.S. at home, Facebook boosts wildlife trafficking abroad. The world's largest social media company, Facebook regularly connects wildlife traffickers around the world and advocates are stepping up the pressure to address the problem. Yeah, I bet. Um, trafficking has increased since Facebook chose to quote self-regulate in 2019, this is the foxes choosing to guard the hen house. Uh, the company could cooperate with law enforcement or conservationists, but it has rarely chosen to do so. Meanwhile, researchers are gathering more and more evidence that wildlife trafficking, aided by Facebook Corporation, is one of the biggest threats to global biodiversity. All right. Last week, we had the headline, Brazil's environment minister faces probe linked to illegal timber. That was last week. Now is this week. Brazil's environment minister faces second probe linked to illegal timber. Do you think so? 
this is that uh, planet eater. You, you know, this is, uh, uh, what's that guy's name? Hyder Bozo Nero's number one henchman. This uh, planet eater, Ricardo Saez. Uh, Saez's term as environment minister has been marked by skyrocketing deforestation rates, a record high number of rural land conflicts, the gutting of environmental regulators, and an increase in invasions and attacks on indigenous lands. There is a clear path forward for sure. Uh, so let's just stay in Brazil for a little while. Uh, you know, whenever you're looking for a clear path forward, you, you, you know, to saving the planet, uh, obviously the Brazilian Amazon, I can't remember if anywhere in this hour and 15 minute documentary if they ever mentioned Jair Bozo Nero's name any more than they ever mentioned overpopulate. I don't think Bozo Nero's name ever came up. Okay, let's just poke around the Brazilian path forward to save the planet. Here is new areas of primary forest cleared in Brazil's lawless La Brea. Yes, satellite imagery reveals several areas of primary rainforest were cleared alongside agricultural fields in La Brea in their Brazilian Amazon. Uh, this uh, latest attack, this is 5,200 acres. I uh, bet it's a lot more than that. La Brea has been called a crime factory where its remote location and lack of law enforcement act as a catalyst for illegal deforestation and land grabbing. Uh, let's see. I just want to finish out Brazil. Brazil's path, clear path forward. Uh, okay, skip over that one. Uh, study shows it took the Amazon as we know it over six million years to form. Yes, an asteroid impact uh, 66 million years ago triggered an ecological catastrophe that claimed nearly half of all plant species and took Amazon forests more than 6 million years to recover from. Just to give you an idea of how long it will take the Amazon to recover from Hyder Bozo Nero as the Amazon rainforest cuts a six million year clear path to recover from humans. Okay, here is, well, this guy, you know, this is even on the uh, mainstream media. May deforestation in the Amazon hits 14 year high. Deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon rose sharply in May, reports the country's own, you know, own statistics. Uh, according to Brazil's own, own figures, which I would take with a huge grain of salt, uh, With four days still left uh, to count, uh, in the first 27 days of May, an area 20 times the size of Manhattan was obliterated off the uh, planet. 
Uh, deforestation in May was the highest for any May dating back to at least 2007. Meanwhile, scientists are bracing for a bad fire season uh, in the Amazon due to below average rainfall. Hmm, do you think so? A resurgence of fire and deforestation in the Amazon is heightening concerns about the fate of Earth's largest rainforest, which some researchers say could be approaching a point where vast areas transition to a drier habitat. I'm thinking it might have been that planetary boundaries where they just said flat out that it is already tipped. Did I hear that in, in Breaking Boundaries or some other documentary where they were just stating as obvious fact uh, that the Amazon rainforest is already a net carbon emitter, that it emits more carbon in the atmosphere than it takes out of the atmosphere? Okay, how is the world's richest tin mine offering a light through the clear path forward. How about world's richest tin mine pollutes rivers serving Amazon indigenous villages? Yes. Federal authorities and indigenous expeditions confirm the leak of tailings waste from six dam dams managed by Minaraco Taboca. Yes, which is uh, actually based in Peru. Uh, indigenous residents say they fear a catastrophic disaster from the potential failure of Taboca's main dam. Yep. Uh, there you go, and that goes on. Anything else from Brazil? Uh, that's Peru. Okay. Uh, one more from Brazil. What is it? Is it second week in June here? The Brazilian Amazon is burning! Again, maybe it's the light of the wildfires that are lighting the clear path forward. What they're doing with these fires is they're trying to clear a path forward through the Amazon rainforest. It is clearing a path forward is what they're doing to save the planet. All right, the Brazilian Amazon is burning again. In recent weeks, nine major fires have been burning in the Brazilian Amazon, heralding an unsettling start to another fire season, which experts say could be a bad one after a particularly dry year. The first major fire of the year began on May 19th. Yes. Uh, all of the 2021 fires so far are on land deforested last year, emphasizing the connection between deforestation and fire in the Brazilian Amazon. Looking ahead, you know, looking ahead down the clear path, looking ahead down the clear path, one expert says we could expect to see patterns similar to last year with fires in deforested areas early in the season with a possible shift to burning standing forest as the dry season intensifies. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, enough for Brazil. Let's go next door to Argentina. Uh, dark ships off Argentina. Now, how are we going to see a clear path with dark ships? 
dark ships off Argentina ring alarms over possible illegal fishing. Yes, a new report reveals that 800 foreign vessels from China, Taiwan, South Korea, and Spain conducted 900,000 hours of visible fishing near Argentina's uh, coast, but that there were more than 600,000 additional hours in which fishing vessels went dark by turning off their automatic identification systems. Yes, when ships go dark, there is a strong likelihood that they are trying to block the clear path forward by engaging in some kind of illegal activity. Yes, such as entering Argentina's zone to illegally fish, the report suggests. Yes. Uh, anyway. And then where did they head? They headed off to Uruguay. All right, let's see, I wanted to uh, talk about legal mining, you know, all of this crap about, you know, I've been uh, talking for how many uh, years about the, the, the whole joke difference between legal and illegal logging and legal and illegal mining. Uh, where is this story about uh, illegal mining? Here we go. We're going over to Colombia. This is one country looking at legal mining. We're not even bothering with illegal mining. Like there's a damn bit of difference, but mining is mining. Okay? Legal mining means some corrupt bureaucrat in some third world country has taken some multi-million dollar payoff from some planet-eating giant corporation. That is the definition of legal mining. All right. In less than one generation, legal mining in Colombia deforested over 120,000 hectares, otherwise known as 300,000 acres of Colombian rainforest obliterated off the face of the planet by legal mining. Yes, uh, the study found that forest clearing by legal mining operations has increased sharply in recent years. The authors say that if mining titles, mining titles continue to be granted at current rates, Colombia could lose 400,000 hectares. Can you say one million acres of forest from legal mining alone over the next two decades? And I'm sure one that tin mine, uh, there was a legal mine. Uh, anyway, what else do we have in the uh, in the bag here? Uh, with the clear path forward, I know we have to. Uh, yes. All right. You would not believe. Here is the clear path forward from Indonesia. We have been hearing about this particular path forward for the last 10 years here on Manga Bay. Indonesia's biodiesel program, biodiesel program fuels deforestation threat. Huh. A new report adds to warnings 
that Indonesia's biodiesel program will drive greater deforestation by boosting demand for palm oil. It says, contra the report says, contradictory and opaque government policies create conditions. Sancho is full of ticks. It says, contradictory and opaque government policies create conditions for producers to maintain business as usual production systems. Do you think so? Uh, palm oil plantations are the single biggest driver of deforestation in Indonesia. Okay, now of course, <laughs> whenever looking at a clear path forward for the future of this planet, you better believe who is bankrolling the clear path forward. Okay, we're going to have a lesson in bankrolling the clear path forward. Chinese banks pouring billions into deforestation-linked firms. A new analysis from Global Witness has revealed that Chinese banks and investors provided more than $22.5 billion dollars to deforestation link companies worldwide between 2013 and 2020. Uh, Global Witness found that five, that five of the biggest Chinese commercial banks accounted for 45 percent of all funds provided by Chinese financiers during this period. Yes, uh, the eco watchdog. I love it. The eco. Wa Are you an eco watchdog? Is a Bob. I'm a froggy watchdog. The eco watchdog is calling for policymakers to prohibit Chinese banks. Yes, from financing businesses linked to environmental and social damage. You go, you eco watchdogs. Okay, what is Manga Bay's update on that sinking ship off of Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka braces for the worst. Yes. Uh, There is already fallout from the disaster with tons of grain-sized plastic pellets from the ship's cargo washing up on beaches along the island's western coast, posing a massive cleanup headache. Yeah, there, there's some good uh, video out there on what those beaches in Sri Lanka look like. All right, the Maldives have an ambitious plan to save Indian Ocean yellowfin tuna. I'm glad to see the Maldives are cutting a clear path forward. It is good luck, the Maldives going up against the EU. Uh, okay, how is Indonesia? Uh, lighting a, cl powering a clear path forward in Indonesia. Indonesia to retire coal-fired power plants while adding more coal-fired power plants. Yes. Indonesia's state-owned utility says it will start shutting down coal fire power plants and phase them all out. Phase them all out by the year 2055. At the same time, however, it is building 21 gigawatts of new coal plants that they say will have an operating life until 2065. 
uh, a contradiction that activists say undermines undermines the coal phase-out plan. Do you think so? So that's how we're powering the clear path forward. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, I think uh, I, I, I could go on with this. Uh, is there any, is there one more example? Uh, okay, we're just going to let the world's biggest users of water, otherwise known as businesses, businesses, uh, this is how business is going to water the path. Yes, water is a problem that has historically been overlooked, but the conversation around water is growing and companies no longer have an excuse to turn a blind eye. The World Bank, the World Bank in its never-ending quest, you know, to provide a clear path forward the World Bank has found that failure to tackle the current water crisis by implementing better water management practices could cause a 6% regional GDP losses by 2050. 6% my ass. Um, yes. Anyway. Uh, all right, the U.S. and the U.K. join Norway and Germany in effort to protect Peru's rainforest, setting up a clear path forward. Uh, all right, all of these planet-eating rich countries saving the planet. Anyway, we've heard it before. We will hear it again. And so, uh, I hope you have enjoyed the clear path for hearing about the clear path forward one more time. What did, uh, what was that quote by Johann Rockström, who has wisely declined to be interviewed by Collapse Chronicles? What did you say, Johann? This documentary comes out right at this point where it is like this perfect action movie. The Collapse of a Planet is a perfect action movie showing a major threat. You know, the collapse of a planet can, if we turn things around, have a happy ending. Yes, and uh, I highly suggest you get out there to uh, and enjoy your happy ending. Why, you still can. Are you happy that we're at the end of this rant? Bye, guys. I don't know what you're ready to get back to bed on your couch like that. There's a happy dog. There's a bop. I am so glad to be back on my couch. Bye, guys.